Hi guys, how are you? Tuesday, sketching live. How are you? So, how was your weekend? Now, we are only four people, so let's wait uh, just a few more minutes, few minutes so that we can start. Today, we're gonna make a very interesting exercise for you. I really hope that you have some white paper with you. Maybe you have chalks, color chalks, because today, we are going to talk about color chalks, how I use them, how I learned in school, and why they are so, so interesting when we make car sketches and we have everything prepared so that we do our sketch and then we just use a little bit of color ch chalk just to show volume on our, on our ske sketches. Ciao Andrea, Andrew, come va? How was the weekend? I hope that it was it was good for you. Mine was nice. A little bit mad about what's wrong with my Milan AC that lost for the second time in a row in championship, but that's okay. We will see. We will recover. I am sure. I hope already tomorrow. Okay, so I will say today we're gonna use chalk, all right? So I have here my chalks. After I will show you my how how is this beautiful you know box full of chalks from Prismacolor, which are really the best ones. I know that the, some of you buy other chalks, other color chalk sticks that are cheaper, and the problem is that even if you use uh, the spray fixative, which is uh, which is this one, wait, the spray fixative, okay, it, the chalk doesn't get dark, which means that you cannot build up layers. I will explain this in a while. Ah, bravo. <laughs> okay, perfect. Saluda Michele. And uh, so, what we were saying we were talking about so you need the good color chalks which are the prisma color those ones if you find those okay i bought the big box okay but you can buy also the small one where you have at least 12 sticks or uh, 24 sticks and in those ones you already have the most important colors because in reality a lot of those colors we don't really use them so you don't need to spend a lot of money on it okay just buy the 12 color chalks sticks box or 24 and it will be fine i will tell you which are the ones that i usually use all the time because it's going to be it's going to be easier for you uh, then we need a white paper which can be printer paper copic paper the one that i'm using today to be fast but you if you have the canson the white canson paper which is this one then in that case it's much much better because the effect well you know what we're gonna use this one yes let's use this one here i have some exercise that i make with my students to learn how to do shading look with a pencil Okay, you know what, I will use this sketch. I will use this sketch that I made for a demo to make the demo today. I'm sure you're gonna be happy. All right, so now we are seven. Put your likes, <laughs> put your likes on the video. All right, so you know what? I am going to change camera. I'm going to show you how I am organized from the top. Are you ready? Look, now you can see. I put the camera really high, okay? But this time the camera is fine, don't worry. I will bring it down. Okay, this is my Renault badge. <laughs> we don't need to see it. Okay, all right. So now let's come down. You know, like an helicopter, like a... Okay, so this is 
the box with all my charts, okay? As you can see, there are, there are quite few, okay? Some of them already cut because I'm using them. But you can see also there are many of them that I really didn't use yet. And now it's already three years I have this one. So, but anyway, I said you can find the small box with 12, okay, or 24. It's not very expensive. This is the best quality chalks that you can use to build up layers from Prismacolor, okay? From Prismacolor. You find this on Amazon, no problem. Easy. Okay, so this is uh, to show you. And then another thing I, I wanted to show you, it's how I prepared, you know, the paper on which I will use my cotton pad, okay? A little bit of baby powder, my exacto knife point just to make the dust from uh, the chalk, okay? The chalk sticks. This is a green color, okay? You can see I'm making the dust. All right, there you go. And uh, then what do I do? I, I, I take my, my pad, I, I put it half, I bend it again, so I have a, like a quarter. And this gives me the opportunity to use this part, as you know, as I already explained some other times, this part to mix the baby powder with the color and then build up the layers. And I will show you this now, okay? So I take a little bit of baby powder. Then I go with the, the green and you can see already how nice, what a nice effect I'm getting there, okay? So now let's, let's make, you can see that I use this baby powder and this uh, cotton pad in my hands with the color just like if I had a pencil. So I can do lines, I can do shapes, I can do a lot of things. I'm not rigid, okay? But I can do also lines like that, for example. You see? You see how nice? I put a little bit closer so you can see better. All right? And then you can do... You see, look how nice, from dark to light. So this is something that you have to learn how to do, okay? Then another thing that I advise to buy, if you want to use really well those, it's a, a brush, a small brush that is used, it is used generally by people that work uh, with technical pencils, you know, doing... Uh, doing technical work, but this is very good because it takes the dust off without, you know, without creating problems on the paper. You see, it is already darker. And the fact that it's darker is because we are building one layer on top of another, you see? And that's, that's possible because we are using the spray fix. The spray fix will fix the first layer to the paper and will create a sort of a transparent surface that will create a new grip, okay? So that's important to know. So I take my spray fix and I fix that second layer and I wait a few seconds that it gets dry, okay? At the same time, what do I do? I come back here and I go back with my green and this time I take a little bit of baby powder always because it makes the color very smooth, you know, very, very smooth. And then I go and I hit the green and I am ready for my third, okay, the third layer. Let's do it. Now it's getting dark.
You see, we can we can use those color chalks also to like paint, not for cars. You know, we can imagine this is like a sky, and then we can use the the, the yellow to put the sun. You know, we can use it with our finger if we are using a canson paper. You know, so the good thing of of chalks that you can use it not just for the cars and the products but also if you like to paint there are a lot of people that do paintings but using colored chalk sticks in russia for example there is a great schools about that okay so now that i do i did that i put another time some fixative and then we do for the last time so four four layers okay okay andrea va bene grazie if, for example, we make a, a cube, okay? Look what I do. You ready? You see, this is a technical learning school with our teacher. You see, there we have already a part of our cube. Then we make the other one here. This is going to be lighter. You see, and then we can do the last part, the top, this one. like that you see and here we have a, a cube with the three surfaces number one number two and number three and if we had to make the, the number three a little bit darker which is normal what do i do i put a little bit of spray fix okay let i let it wait i let it dry And once it's dry, I just go back with my little quickie mask, okay? There you go. And I do it once more so that we get it a little bit darker. You see? Then, of course, we have to put the, and this part we will do it the shadow. We can do it simply with marker. okay all right so now let's move on let's change i take this away because this green i don't need it anymore so just wait a second that i throw this away unless unless i have too many things on top of my of my desk all right so those mask quickie mask i don't need them anymore I take this one back, okay, and I take a new page, this one for my new palette of colors that I will be using for the sketch. So if you like it so far, what we're we doing, put your like. Thank you. Okay, so I'm using marker paper because, first of all, it's a little bit transparent, so it's going to be easier and faster for me, 
you know, to make a, a quick sketch. Okay, the reflection. All right. Now I take uh, um, a blue like this one, B23. I miss a poet, Krishnant. Krishnant. Ciao. I put my. my reflection lines okay you see and now that I will put now that I will put the the, 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 the chalk the core you will understand okay so let's prepare this all right You see? Look at that. Very nice. Okay, so let's do it. Now I put the core. And then I do the same thing on the side. I don't have much space here. Now that you see this, oops, you see how good is the, the, the brush? The little things I left there, they are gone. That's good because here really I don't have space. It's becoming a little bit messy. Okay, already with that you can start feeling the reflection thing, you know? And also the shape. Now let me put a little bit of uh, spray fix because this is only our first uh, layer. Okay, now let it dry and let's prepare the second layer. And this time we have to do it darker because the core has, has to be really dark and then it has to shade into a very, very light blue. So let's do the second one.
for a little bit here too. And then here too. Okay, so this is layer number two. Oh, thank you, Mr. Four. Thanks. Okay, so now we'll go for the layer number three, okay? Yeah, we have to build up, you know, it takes a little bit of patience, but uh, to be honest, I always enjoy when I do this. I know that today with Photoshop you can do all that, but when you do it really in real life, it's believe me, there is a better satisfaction. It's more artistic. And now I will try to make the focal point also, okay? So be careful because I'm hitting in a way that I will create a contrast in the focal point area. Okay, you see? All right, now, spray fix. Ciao, maiz. Como estas? And now the last, the last time, okay? But this time, I will mix the blue with the black. And, and I will show you where I will do it. Where I will put it? I just need a little bit of black. Okay. So I mix the two. You can see here. I'm mixing black and blue. I put a little bit of baby powder to make them smooth and not too hard and now this is gonna be basically the last touch okay so the black is gonna be mainly on the glass You see now, thank you Kumar, thanks.
Okay, now I think that in five minutes we'll be finished, okay? Here I, I make a little bit of shading on the ground because it creates a little bit of depth, okay? And then there is another thing we have to do and for this I use a little bit of, of the orange this orange, okay? to use a little bit of warm light, of course. Our nice warm light, we need a little bit of warm light. Okay, so the warm light is coming from the back, all right? Can you see? Now we have a feeling, a, a light feeling of, uh, of sunshine. Okay, spray fix. All right, now no more chalk, okay? So I take this off. I take this away, okay? Dark pencil, this is dark blue, okay? You see, I use the blue Somebody is calling on the telephone now. It's not the right time. <laughs> All right, so the, the dark blue will increase the contrast. Do you see there is more contrast now? You see, it's, it looks more shiny. You see, I do a little bit of line work and that's, that helps to define a little bit better the main, you know, the main uh, body. Then we can imagine that we have some You see? Like, let me put a door cut here and the other one. Okay, now I take my white. All right. <laughs> Thank you for Isaac, uh, those are the, the same uh, polychromos, polychromos pencil, it's not watercolor, it's not watercolor. 
All right, so. Okay, I just need a, a little bit of dark here. You see now, now we can read much better the shape, the shape of this back, which is uh, funky, <laughs> funky back. Okay, so now we need a white line here. Okay, a little bit of white here. You see, it looks much better now. And a little bit of glare of light here. You see, I go very light with my white, just in the center. Then, You see? Then I take my black and I just put a little bit of contrast here. All right. And the last thing that I need to do, the last one, is just put a little bit of highlights and then we are finished. So. You ready with the highlights? Because I am, you see? Okay, so this is my focal point, okay? The center of this sketch. So I have one here, one here. I'm going really fast because at uh, six o'clock I must be with my student online. So I have only a few minutes to complete all this. And then the other one, it's going to be here. Then we need a little line here because here we see the, the, the highlight.
like that. Okay, and the sketch is finished. I washed the brush. What do you think? If you like this and you want to offer me a coffee, go ahead, hit that button, the super sticker, the super chat, wherever. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna just complete by, by putting my signature. Okay, today is the 30th of November 21. All right. Okay, there you go. So now you understand why I made that uh, reflection really dark, because in this way I have a very good contrast, you know, very good contrast. Okay. Okay, bravo, Anish. That's very good. You will show me. Okay, so I hope you liked it. Okay, and uh, let me turn. <laughs> okay, here we are. So let me take this away so that I have more space. And this is, this is what we did. Very nice color, just with the blue and a little bit of black, as you can see, pretty nice. Okay.